Hi, Ed A. Kirst here with Genius Messenger CRM. In this video, we're going to do a full walkthrough of the initial beta release of the software. And there'll be a training series that'll have a more detailed breakdowns of everything, but for this one, we're just going to walk through and show all of the functionality. So, if you click the icon once it's installed, this is your login screen. There will be, probably by the time you see the actual uh, extension down here where it says Power By, there will also be a tutorials link and a support link. And there's a forgot password right now. At this moment, the only way to change your password is to reset it through forgot password. Again, by the time of release, there will be a screen that you can change your password on. What you do is you just log in with the email address that you signed up with and the password that you were sent when you signed up. This will be the first page that you see. This is where you can create labels and of course there aren't any labels found because we just installed the extension and haven't created any. Now keep in mind as you work on here for right now and during most of the beta you're only going to be able to use this on one computer. Now you could put it on another computer and use it and log in but they're not going to talk to each other so you would have to recreate everything on the second computer. Amongst the first post beta release, uh, don't really have a time frame right now, I'm hoping 30 to 45 days max, you will be able to sync between computers and download and save the data. But for right now, whatever computer you're doing this on is the only computer that this is going to work on. So just keep that in mind as you're doing this. So to create a label, let's say I'm going to use the example of a salesperson and it doesn't really matter what you're selling, a lot of salespeople have some type of a sales pipeline and you may have something like a prospect. So we'll add a prospect label and you can change the colors right here with the paintbrush icon. Let's make the prospect, uh, let's make them yellow and you can use these presets here or you can go over here and you can do just about anything that you want, okay? But we're going to do this, we're going to use that yellow. Then let's add another one. Whoops, label cannot be empty. See, you can't just hit add. You have to put something in first. So let's do, they're already a prospect. Let's say they've now raised their hand and they're interested in, I don't know, selling software. Okay, and I'll add that. And let's make this one with the brush. We will make this one a, let's go into a green color. We'll make it a light green. Okay, and Let's do a couple of more here just for example purposes. So let's say um, they are a customer and maybe they're a customer of this software, Genius Messenger CRM customer. Okay, and I will go ahead and hit add. And let's make them, they're a customer, let's make them a bright green. Okay, and maybe they're a partner. Whoops, I did it again. Maybe they are a GM CRM founding partner. Okay, let's do that. Let's make founding partners a nice pretty blue color. Look at that. So I'll just leave that for the moment. Now, if we hover over these, like you can't see that whole name, if you hover over it, there's the name. In case you've got something that you just can't see the whole thing, you can hover over it. And you'll be able to click that, but there's nothing here because we haven't added any contacts into these labels yet. So let's go first to this messages page. Okay, this is a page where you can do some other things. You can add more labels and you'll be able to see at a glance how many people are in that label and you'll be able to actually see them here and then we have a thing well and friends let's go there next now we haven't added any these are only going to be friends that have labels attached which we haven't done yet and then we have a thing called global templates global templates are going to contain categories of responses that you send again and again and again and within those templates, you'll have individual responses that you can send. So let me show you an example of that. Let's say we have a template for our prospects. Okay, and so this comes up. And then inside, and you can edit these, by the way. You can change the, the name and thing. You could do that on the other one I didn't show you, but that's okay. Um, and then click the Save icon. So let's, let's do a, a thing. Somebody's a prospect. Um, hi. Maybe you always say something like, hi. Great to connect with you. Um, thanks for your interest. I'm assuming maybe this is somebody that's responded to uh, to, to an, an ad or to a post or something like that. And we can put even little um, 
emojis in here if we want. Let's add one. We'll add a little smiley face there. And then just click add. Okay, so that'll become a canned response. Okay, so maybe you have a you have one that says, um, you know, as you're talking to the prospects, maybe you have a video. Yes, you can watch the video here. And then you would put, you know, a link like HTTPS colon. I'll just put Google in here for now just as an example. Okay, we'll add that. You can even add pictures. Okay, so you go in here and you add a, a picture. Um, this is kind of a weird picture, but I just got Ricky Skaggs tickets, so we'll throw a picture of Ricky Skaggs in there you know, for whatever. All right, and then we can add another template. Maybe these are um, GM CRM customers, right? Let's just do one more customers, and we'll add that. And then customers might say something like our support ticket system is at, and then you just type the link, right? Okay. Uh, that's something that people are always going to ask at. Where's your support? Our tutorial videos. See, these are things you'll type over and over again, right? Our tutorial videos are in a playlist on YouTube here. And then you put the link, right? Okay? Etc. All right, so you get the idea on that. And I'll show you where these come into play, but you can edit them here. You can delete them. Um, you can edit the main name and things like that. With the labels, let me show you that too. So you can also edit the name of the, whoops, you don't hit enter, you hit the save thing, prospects, okay? Now, if you're actually in Messenger, so let's go to Messenger. Let me go back to, whoops, I just should click Messenger, all right? Now inside Messenger, let's go to Diesel. I'll use Diesel because I, I test some things, so we can use, that's, See, I was doing tests earlier with this. Let's use Margaret. Okay, so maybe Margaret is a prospect, right? So once you're here, let me show you this, because this can be toggled on and off. You see these boxes? Um, that's here. I can show labels in Facebook, or I can turn that off, and labels won't show. By the way, if any of this functionality doesn't work when you first use the software, just refresh the page. There, sometimes there's a glitch here and there when you first use it, but once you've refreshed the page, it'll run very smoothly. So look, let's say Margaret is a prospect. So look, now she's in prospect. Diesel is a charter partner. Okay, so look, if you can't see the whole label, you just hover over it. I didn't do a charter partner. We'll put him in founding partners for the example. Mark is a, is a founding partner. Um, Elnor is a founding partner. But just to use some different categories, let's put, um, let's put Elnor in prospects. Oh, we already have a prospect. So let's put him in customers. Okay. Uh, Joe is also, he's a charter partner, but let's put him in interested in just to just to do some of these categories. We'll put Derek, oops, I actually clicked it. We'll put Derek in uh, that category, okay? And so now we have these, and you can change the category there, and Derek was in that. Let's back him up to interested. And now if you go back up to here, right, you can see now we have, see these numbers? We have people interested, and you click that. Derek is in there, and Joe is in there. Now, from this page here, okay, by the way, let me just show you this. Now your friends are in there. They all have labels, and you can change the labels in here easily, okay? And then from labels, you can see the people that are in there. Now, you can't click them from here. What you can do um, is move these around, all right, if we want the partner um, people in the beginning, uh, and then maybe pipelines, so there's our prospects, and then interested, so you can move those around, and that's there, so what was I showing you? Okay, so um, we're here, right, so let's show you this, let's go to, um, we have two in interested, we have Derek and Joe, all right, so if we click them, there are a couple of things we can do here, we can send them a message, which will open them in Messenger, we can add a note, and we can do notifications, Let's, uh, let's use Derek, okay? We'll add a note, and we can put a note, um, Derek just quit his W-2 job to work online full-time. By the way, that's true. Congratulations, Derek. Well done. Derek is one of our partners. Derek just quit. So this is a note. I might want to remember that. I may not remember that. If I'm working with leads and sales and people, I may be talking with hundreds of people a day. But I want to be able to, at a glance, and I'll show you where you'll see this at a glance, 
I may want to know that. Okay, um, Derek is building a sales page for another software, and he is. Okay, so I make a note of that, right? And um, Derek is, you know, whatever you want, a cool guy. Okay, so whatever, whatever you want to put in here. Now let's say something's priority, like this Derek is building a so I want to remember that. I need to remember that. You can just slide that up to the top, right, so that it's super important. And you can add the notes here, and you can move them around. You can edit them, okay? Um, we can add something in there, another great software, and then hit save. And then global templates, we already added some, right, so they're in here. So if I hit plus, now you can see uh, here are the GM CRM customers, and there are the support tickets things, and you can add things from here okay and you can go back and maybe we need to add something into prospects those are the ones we added and go back and you can add a new template here new template add okay now we have three all right so what I really wanted to show you here was um, let's go back let's go back into here so from this page here okay this is the page you get to from this icon you can click these and then I'll show you, I showed you notes, let's show you notifications. Okay, um, call Mark. By the way, um, if you can't see him, you just see how I just hovered over that and it showed Mark Neisner. Neisner, um, I just had it. There we go, okay. Um, call Mark. Uh, I'll just put an email address there, that would be Mark's obviously. And then, um, actually, yeah, and then um, we'll call him at 12.45, although it's already 12.45, so I'll put 12.50. Um, notification message, call Mark at, you know, whatever the number is. Okay? And then we set that notification. Now, right now, during this beta release that we just came out with, what you've just set there is a browser notification. So in the upper right-hand corner, when that time goes off, we'll get a little, boop, there's a browser notification, call Mark. Okay, great, I can stop what I'm doing, I can call Mark. Actually, I would have set that for probably you know, five minutes before the appointment. Um, in future releases, we're going to tie those into calendars. iCal, Google, Calendar, Calendly, uh, 8 to 10, some, you know, there, there are some calendar systems. If you have something you use that you want us to tie into, uh, let us know. And then you'll be able to save notes and things like that off. Um, right now, as I said, it's only in one, uh, one computer. Down the road, you're going to be able to do these in you know, sync different computers and save stuff offline to Google Sheets and tie it into Zapier so it can go out to other places and do other things. But for right now, the notes are internal and the notifications is a browser message. Okay, let's say we want to send something to, uh, let's send something to Mark, okay? So I click that messenger and this is going to open up messenger, okay? And all of these things as you saw are over there on the left and remember if they're in our way and we don't want to see them anymore, I can just toggle them off. Okay, now if you turn off the labels, you've turned this off in Messenger. So watch down here at the chat bar, okay, where I'm typing at the bottom of the screen. Hopefully you can see that. Um, let me show you what happens when I toggle this on in that chat bar. There's our icon, right? So you see this little G, and what happens there is that goes up. Now right now, oh, I don't have any notes for Mark. Doggone it, I should have done Derek. Um, well, actually, let's just do it real quick. There's Derek. And if you click that, okay, so there are notes that we just did for Derek. Now, right now, we can't edit them in here and we can't add them. We're going to do a release uh, about a week after we've got the beta out that will allow you to add your messages here as well as your notes, okay? So um, let's just show an example, okay? Uh, GMCRM. Is, uh, he's, he'll figure out that I'm doing tests, okay? Or tutorial video. Let's say he's saying, oh, what, do you have tutorial videos on your thing? You can click that, and look, it goes down here, and you can put something like, yes, we do. And then you can do that, and then I can hit send. Okay? And I'll just let him know, testing GM CRM for a video. Let him, he'll probably figure that out, but... Um, he'll see that. And then again, we can click that, okay, and maybe we need to send him a message. Even though he's just a, a prospect, maybe he became a customer. We'll have to we'll change this thing. Well, let's say he does sign up as a customer. Look at this. We can make him, okay, he's now a customer. 
All right, and now we can go back and we can say, all right, he's a customer. What are things? Oh, yes, so he needs to know about our support or he needs to know about this. We don't have any in there. And so you just click them. Okay, you can even, you know, add a picture, click it, and it's right there. Okay, now I'm not going to send that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of that. He doesn't need to see a picture of Ricky Skaggs, but you get the idea. And, and so you can, all your canned responses as you're typing with people, you can go up here and have access, not just to the ones for where he is, because maybe somebody's a little outside the box and they don't need just there. And you can put as many of these in there. They're categorized, so you, if it's a message typically for a prospect, you can find it there. If it's typically for a customer, you can find it there. Um, eventually, we'll be able to reorder these, um, but not right now. But that's okay. This is our beta release. And so that'll save you tons of typing, tons of looking up where was that link for the tutorials or where was this link, and you're typing the same thing over and over again. Well, now you can just click those. And then when you need to get rid of that, you can do that. And again, if these are getting in your way, just click toggle, and now you have Messenger by itself. But you still have access to this. You can still go create templates. You can create labels. You can move people around. You can edit things. Um, you know, you can move these around etc. So that's really it. Oh, and look, there's our, there's, you can, the very top of the screen, you can see our browser notification, and it's going to stay there until I close it. Okay, so if I hit close, you'll see that go away in the upper right hand corner. And that was our message to call Mark. So that's how our notifications work for the moment. Um, eventually, we're going to tie those into actual calendar systems so you can get whatever your normal notifications are on your phone or or wherever you happen to be. So I believe I have run you through everything. We've gone through the labels. We've gone through the templates. You can have as many of these as you want. We've gone through the friends and how to change categories. And um, I'll have to get them to, there's a tool. We should be able to hover over this and see their full name. Um, for the most part, that's good. So that's it. And you can search, you know, once you get hundreds of people in here, you'll be able to search so you can find them and see right where they are or change them and uh, do what you need to do. So that's it. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time in watching this. If you have any questions, let us know. Of course, you can log out, right? You can just click that and log out. Let's just do that. Okay. So we're out. So that's it. Um, thank you very much for your time. And if there is anything I can do, let me know. And we'll do more tutorial videos as new features get added. We're going to continue to grow and support this software for many years to come.